of Solid Rock Drahada Online Children's Church. Are you having a good holiday? I hope you are. I hope wherever you are, it's warm. You're eating lots of ice cream and lollies. So, can anyone remember what Veronica and Morrow spoke about last week in the lesson? Let me give you a clue. Morrow was in a really tiny house. It was so funny. You guessed it right. 
If you said, we are the house for the Holy Spirit, Mara and Veronica spoke about the Holy Spirit and God with us. So for today, we're going to talk about God. You know what? Long time ago, people had no access to God. But thank goodness today, everyone has access to God. So we're going to worship with some songs. You'll hear the story and I'll be back to ask you some questions at the end. See you soon. Hi, kids. Today's story is David Worships God. Do you remember Samuel, the kid who could hear God's voice? When Samuel got older, God asked him to find a special child because God had a special plan for him. He was going to be the new king. So Samuel went to where God asked him to go. He got to that place and found a family with many kids who were all boys. All of them were big and strong and could one day make some powerful kings. But God told Samuel, do not look at the way he looks on the outside or how tall he is. A man looks at the outside of a person, but I look at the heart. So, after Samuel met the seven brothers, he asked if there was anyone else. So, they told him about the youngest brother. His name was David. David was a good-looking boy with beautiful eyes. He was a shepherd and the youngest of his brothers. When Samuel met David and saw him, God told Samuel, Rise up and choose him. For this is the one who will be king. Since that day, God was with David and helped him in everything. David did not just take care of the sheep. He was really brave. One day, he killed a lion. And he also killed a bear. All this to protect his flock of sheep. He also defeated a giant named Goliath using a sling and a rock. He did this to defend God's name and his people. David said, The Lord who saved me from the foot of the lion and from the foot of the bear will save me from the hand of this Philistine. Several years after that, David became the king of God's people, a very brave man with a very good heart too. Do you know another special thing about David? He loved music. He even invented a lot of musical instruments that were very similar to the ones we know today. And he did this to worship God. There was a very special instrument that David liked the most, the harp. Every time he played the harp, he worshiped God. It didn't matter if he was happy or very happy, sad or very sad angry or worried. David always sang to God and he wrote awesome songs for him. Did you know that there is a book in the Bible with many songs and poems? That is the book of Psalms. And there are 150 chapters. Many of them were written by David. David said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord from the time the sun rises to when it sets. Praise the Lord. God said, that David had a heart after his own heart. One of David's greatest examples is that we can worship God always and in everything we do. A long time ago, there was a box called the Ark of the Covenant. It was a holy box that contained items that reminded people of God's faithfulness to them. God's power surrounded this box. Moving it from one place to another required extreme care. King David decided to move the ark to Jerusalem so that he could keep it safe. He gathered 30,000 of Israel's best men to move it. They loaded the ark on a cart and pushed it all the way to Jerusalem. While they moved the ark, David and the men celebrated with all their might. As they traveled, they made a joyful noise to the Lord with all kinds of noisemakers. As they brought the ark into the city of David, the streets were filled with shouts and the sound of trumpets. King David was so excited about the ark's arrival in his city that he was dancing in the streets in his underwear. 
His wife, Michael, saw this from a window and was unhappy with David's leaping and dancing before the Lord. David put the Ark of the Covenant in the place he had designated for it and went home. When he got there, Michael was waiting for him. She was disappointed and angry. She told David that the king of Israel should know better than to dance around in the streets in his underwear. But David was not embarrassed. He told her that he was dancing for the Lord. He said it didn't matter what he was wearing. He would celebrate and be happy before the Lord. He didn't care what anybody said or what other people thought. King David was so happy that he couldn't contain it. He had to dance and celebrate all the Lord had done for him and his people. Welcome back, boys and girls. Did you enjoy our stories and the worship? I hope you did. I'm going to ask you a few questions just to make sure you understood what we talked about today. So the first one, what was the sign of God's presence called? If you said the Ark of the Covenant, that is correct. So the Israelites lost the Ark of the Covenant when they were defeated in battle, which meant that God's presence was no longer with them. How would you feel if you didn't have God's presence? Isn't it great news that today he is with us all the time? So the next question, what did David do when the Ark of the Covenant entered the city? If you said he danced, you are right, that's what he did. And the next question, how do you express worship to God? You can sing, you can read, you can dance, you can pray. If you said any of those, that is correct. There are so many ways that you can praise God. So David loved God very much and he wanted to worship him. He wasn't embarrassed to dance. He didn't care who saw him. How about you? Would you be embarrassed to worship God in front of others? Today, I want you to know we are blessed because we have God with us every day. When we're sleeping, when we're awake, he is with us. When we're on holidays, at home, in school, he is with us. And guess what? We can talk to him anytime. It could be in the morning when you wake up, you might say, hello, God. It could be at night when you go to sleep, you might say, thank God for today. Please protect me throughout the night. Or you know what? It might be in our hearts. But whatever way you do it, just know you can talk to God and he is with us all the time. Thank you so much for listening to our story this week. Have a great week and we will see you again next week. Bye. One way, Jesus!
while away the truth and the life We live by faith and not by sight for you We're living all for you I could be higher You're the only one